Our model has pre-applied her primer. So what we're gonna do is more of a glam makeup look. This one, you have to forget about blending. This is more for defined and precision application of eye makeup. This is from Maybelline. <laughs> All over the lid. To create that creamy base because I want all my powders to adhere well I have a favorite also paint pot from MAC that's also in the shade and also use that add a shimmering color in dreamer this is from Nervina <coughs> palette of Anastasia so I'm just gonna apply that under my brows to intensify that and then what I want to do I want uh, to use um, the um, a plumish color with the rose gold also and I want to create drama First, I am going to deepen my crease. So, to deepen my crease, I am using a cream based. It's actually a lip color, or it's you can use it for lips, you can use it for everywhere. So, I'm deepening my crease with the cream based color. Okay. So, I'm just getting a little bit. If you can find a brush that's smaller than this, that's also sable, like a concealer brush, it's much better. This is quite big, but I'll just try my best. Okay, so this time, I'm going to create the mega crease. And then I'm gonna make her open her eyes a little bit, but still looking down, so I can create that meeting in the outer B area. There. So I have my crease, my base for my crease. I am going to double up and deepen on that color. Mm -hmm with a sort of a brick color passion so i'm gonna intensify that even more so you see how the color is grabbing because i started out with the base of mm -hmm. cream okay so i say if you didn't and i just put it there softer it will have a softer effect but when you have a base of cream and you want that intensity it's gonna work for you So there. Close. So what I want to do right now is to add another color which is similar to the first color that I did but maybe a tad lighter. So I was here. I think I'm gonna go for this. I 
use a sable brush again. To move inside. Very carefully overlapping the colors, but not blending them together. Okay. So I'm thinking of using drama on top of that. Because Jer is such a drama queen. <laughs> so make sure your brushes are small so that you can apply it just where you want it. Now I want my sides to be darker, so I'm applying a richer color on my outer V, which is this. Okay. This is also from Anastasia. Sabi ng mga Pilipino, Anastasia. <laughs> So I want to deepen this color on the side. So I'm going to top that off with a black. At Bondi. Shade and light. So I'm making the middle part lighter. This is a cream color also that's quite peach or nude. Then I'm applying rose gold in the middle. So you see I did not overlap, I did not blend. And I'm going to further intensify that shining, shimmering thing going on with a MAC Glitter that is similar to its copper. It's similar to my rose gold.
I didn't prepare anything under. What you're supposed to do is put anything that will catch it. But because we're just gonna do concealing after. And then lastly, just gonna brush this off for a while. But I'm just gonna put that highlight in there. Okay, so that's how you make a very intensified type of makeup wherein if you want the color to really be seen, you need to start with cream, you, then you put powder on top of it, and then if you want the color, the areas to be highlighted and stand out, you can put glitter. When do we use this type of makeup? Um, for um, theater productions wherein the colors or the makeup has to be seen all the way to the back of the theater, uh, dance performances, uh, ba ballet recitals, things like that, okay? Or, kunwari, you're a Las Vegas showgirl, that's when you use this type. Or, you're joining the Drag Race by RuPaul, okay? Mm -hmm. So, that's when we do it. So, there will be um, times in your career where you're gonna need to do something that is not about blending that is not about um, beauty but more of intensity okay so there you go